but you know, positivity is something the world needs more of, but the world also needs more StarCraft, and here we are once again bringing you more action. And spawning in the lower left corner of Cloud Kingdom, I almost said Antigua Shipyard, I don't know why, it's the Red Zerg Lunatic! And in the upper right hand corner of the map, he's been tearing through the tournament today, currently up 1-0 in this finals series. Can he bring home the bacon? It is Dothral. And uh, because it was asked in chat, and there's not a lot to talk about, firstly, we're going to actually, before I get to that, we're going to thank Raptor, we're going to thank Logitech, and we're going to thank everyone involved with the tournament today for helping admin this. This was a great first tournament, I feel. It's been fun to cast. There's a lot of giveaways, and I think the viewers got just about as much out of this as the players did. Maybe not as much as these two, because these two are playing for a Heart of the Swarm uh, copy and Gunner Vapor glasses, but, you know... I think it's a it's a pretty good conversation. Absolutely. But uh, because people in chat were asking, I am using the Razor Banshee headset from Razor. Um, the cool thing about it, you'll notice there are the blue lights around my head when uh, we're between games. But more importantly, when you're playing games, you can actually configure those lights to change color based on APM or based on hotkeys. So for example, every time I press A to move, they might turn red. It's just a cool little effect. Cool little, cool little stuff going on there. Fancy Rifkin with his headset. Oh man, I love these. They're so comfy. Like, I don't even care about any of the extra stuff like the lights. They're just comfy, and that's I know. what it says, man. You were telling me uh, the other day about how comfy they were, and I was, uh, you know, kind of thinking about upgrading, but we'll see. We'll see what I get. <laughs> well, you know, Christmas coming around the corner, and just big family, you know? That's true, that's true. <laughs> like, hey, Mom, you know what I really want for Christmas this year? <laughs> Dude, I want a pair of Gunner Vapor gaming eyewear now. I mean, just... I saw Ord with a pair of them on earlier today, too, and, like, I'm thinking I could stream with them, too. They're pretty fresh, man. <laughs> I hope you're watching this slaughter of workers right now. They're both in the red, and that's why this is pro also losing the ability to harass. And we have an early gas coming out of Lunatech. And, and uh, uh, on the vapors, for those who don't know, by the way, you can actually get them in prescription. So if you have glasses, fear not, you can get prescription vapors. Really? Or gunners, rather. I didn't know that. Very yeah, I considered getting some instead of these glasses when I had to get new glasses a few months back, but I was like, yeah, going in public with yellow glasses, I'm probably going to look not so cool. You'd be wearing your, swinging your nerd flag proudly, man. And, I, and is I'm this a full wall off? I think that's actually not a full wall off. It should have just enough grid points to have one unit slip through. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. It does look like does look like there's some even room there. Is, even if it is a full wall off, pylon's not hard to, uh, yeah, yep. see the can move through freely, yep. so that's good. And, uh, Lunatic, again, going for exactly 100 gas, well, a little bit more, but, uh, getting that early speed out, not gonna be so lucky this time. He, he, if, <laughs> I think that was gonna once in a lifetime that he was able to catch that wall so open, and so just, I don't know, passable, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, he hit the, hit the exact, uh, right time when the window was open and uh, dove through there. He could have definitely not engaged that cannon though. I mean, he, I think he could have done way more damage to the Protoss player because once he got in the main there, uh, our Protoss Dothral was, he was mineral walking onto the minerals and then engaging out there. So getting pretty good surface error on those things that did manage to engage in the base. For those of you unfamiliar with mineral walking, the way that you're able to escape workers um, from attacking units is to just uh, take them and right click on a mineral patch. In doing so, it basically enables their um, their return, I guess, return minerals uh, option there, which makes them invulnerable to anything that's pathing there. So that's why you're able to see probes walk by these zealots. You would be able to see a drone get through, but... Look how many zerglings are gonna not get into this base. <laughs> There's a lot. Now, if this zealot isn't on hold position, it is, so he can't even bait it away. I mean, this is... This is dedicated. If Lunatic gets some more gas, hmm. he can turn these into bailings and bust through that pylon. Hmm. I mean, all it's going to take is about six or seven bailings, but no, he's going to be denied. You can't use the same trick twice. He's actually going to try and kill this Zealot, but there's probes here on hold position right behind it. And this cannon do. This is doing so much damage. Massive damage. I mean, Look probes. at the kills racking up. Eight, nine. Probes are going to be attacked here. Focus the pylon, please, Lunatic. <laughs> this is driving me nuts watching this. Going through one probe at a time, but he does break through, but another Zealot's created, and he's going straight to the main. All right, all right, he's gotten into the main. That's what he wanted to do here. If he can get in the main, distract the Protoss player, he may be able to get another run by at the natural, though. 
but he's getting quite a few kills. He's a lot of kills. Quickly. But look at this, more circling set the front, but ah, the pylon still stands. Take the pylon down, don't go for the zealot. And oh, a wall in. Myself. Great, this great. This is killing me. This is yeah, great to see this wall in. Yeah, with that gateway, this secures that there's nothing else the lunatic's going to be able to do, and I don't think he realizes that because he's still hammering away, but looking at the worker skills, 14 workers. He did sacrifice too many, too much larva though for this to be effective, as he's still down 25 to 18. Yeah, Rifkin, this is so all in. He hasn't, I mean, he's got two drones just now moving down to the natural, but if the Protoss player is able to survive here, he should be in a good, good job. And yeah, Lunatic knows that he's got a big disadvantage, and there's the GG, and our winner of the tournament is gonna be Dothral.